They are one of Long Island's most important resources, but tonight concerns over the results of a major quality assessment of our waterways. News 12's Andrew Ranger has the details. The water surrounding Long Island may seem beautiful, but scientists say looks can be deceiving. We need to start making changes here in Long Island. Dr. Now, Chris Gobler from Stony Brook University says this summer there were dozens and dozens of toxic tides and fish killing algae blooms in the water surrounding the island fueled by excess nitrogen runoff from lawns and less efficient home septic systems. But he adds multiple tropical storms and heavy rains this year did even more damage. And what that means is the amount of nitrogen going from land to sea is going to increase and continue to threaten our water bodies, our marine life, and even, frankly, human health. Fisherman Marguerite Menke says she sees the damage each time she casts her line. After a storm, yeah, you can tell it's not... You know, not great. Suffolk County is taking an aggressive approach to fixing faulty septic systems with a grant program and just this week announced it's building sewers in the Forge and Carl's River areas. John Williams in North Babylon could now get sewer service, but wonders if he'll end up paying more in taxes. Yeah, it would definitely help the environment. Um, you know, but for everything, there's a cost. So. How much is it going to cost me? Environmentalists praise the work that lawmakers are doing to reduce the amount of nitrogen in our waters. But they add there's still so much work that needs to be done. We have a mess. We're in a mess. We can get out of it. It's going to take time, money, and political will. Marguerite Menke says politics and money shouldn't matter. Mother Nature needs protecting. This is our future. This is what our kids are eating. This is what we're eating. We want it as clean as possible. In Patchog, Andrew Enger, News 12 Long Island. And Suffolk County will receive $230 million in federal funds to help fund the sewer projects along the Carlson Forge River areas.